this video you are going to learn how to memorize everything you read. And no, this has nothing to do with how smart you are. We will be looking at how memory works, some techniques you can use as well as Ayana Koji's main method of memorization, which gets him top grades. You'll want to watch this video to the end to make sure you don't miss out on this valuable knowledge. But before we dive in, let's put your memory to the test. Let's kick things off with a quick memory test. These 12 words will be on the screen for 30 seconds. Try and remember as many as you can without writing them down as this will be tested later in the video. If you don't want to do this, skip to the end with the timestamps below. Now, let's look into the science behind memory. To put it simply, memory is a complex process where our brain takes in information, stores it temporarily or long-term, retrieves it when needed, and forms connections between different parts of the brain to make it all work. It involves neurotransmitters helping neurons communicate and the strengthening or weakening of connections between them. Memories are spread out across different brain regions, like the hippocampus and cortex, working together to remember things. When we experience something, our brain encodes it, stores it, and can later retrieve it when needed. Some memories are more vivid or important to us because of factors like emotion, repetition, or personal relevance. Additionally, the brain tends to remember things better when they are associated with other memories or concepts, forming connections between different pieces of information. These processes, along with neurotransmitter activity and synaptic changes, contribute to why we remember certain things more easily than others. This brings us on to our first memory technique, the mind palace. This technique involves creating a visual mental map where you associate information with specific locations in your mind. Imagine a place you know well, such as your home, as you read and come across important facts or details. Visualize placing them in specific rooms or locations within your imagined space. For example, you might associate historical events with your living room or scientific concepts with your kitchen. As you practice the mind palace technique, remember to reinforce your memory by repeatedly revisiting the information stored in your imaginary space. Over time, this method can help you enhance your retention and recall abilities significantly. Moving on to the second memory technique, active recall is a powerful method that involves actively retrieving information from your memory rather than passively reviewing it. This method strengthens your memory retrieval and enhances long-term retention. To apply active recall, start by reading a passage and then attempt to recall the key points. Repeat this process multiple times to reinforce your memory. Some other ways you could test yourself are creating flashcards or quizzes related to the content you're reading. The last memory technique we will be looking at is gap learning. Gap learning involves breaking up your reading into spaced intervals. Rather than cramming all at once, review the material in chunks with breaks in between. This method allows your brain to process information more effectively and increases the likelihood of remembering it in the future. One way you could do this is setting specific intervals based on the material you're studying. For example, review the content after one day then three days, and finally, a week later. This technique helps solidify your memory and prevents forgetting over time. Remember those words. Now's the time to see how many you remembered. Pause the video here and try writing down the ones you did remember. Ready? Here are the words. Comment how many you got right down below. Ayana Koji is a character from the anime classroom of the elite and is known for his exceptional memory skills. But what makes his memory so good? One factor is his genetic ability to remember everything from his early years, giving him more years of experience. Unfortunately, we can't replicate this. What we can replicate is how the conditions of the white room helped aid his memory. These are many small changes which we can replicate in our daily lives. Some examples of these are engaging in activities that stimulate the brain, such as puzzles or chess which can strengthen neural connections and improve memory function. Eating a healthy diet rich in nutrients that support brain health, 
like omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants, which can also benefit memory. Getting enough quality sleep is crucial for memory consolidation, as this is when the brain processes and stores information. Practicing techniques like visualization, association, and repetition can also help cement information in our minds for easier recall. Staying hydrated, as dehydration can negatively impact cognitive function and memory, and incorporating regular physical exercise into your routine. As this can boost blood flow to the brain, promoting overall brain health and memory retention. You now know everything you need to know about memory to remember anything you want. Use all the strategies in this video and let's remember to be mindful of how we treat our brains and bodies as they are integral to our memory and cognitive abilities. By understanding the science behind memory and implementing these strategies, we can enhance our memory recall and overall brain function to remember anything we want. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you found this useful and subscribe for more.